Veterans returned to the U.S. after fighting in the jungles of Vietnam a half century ago, but hundreds of them may be dying from a silent bullet, a slow-killing parasite living in them and decades after the war, a new study revealed. Liver flukes, parasites that infect a human when raw or undercooked fish is eaten, are being investigated as the cause of a rare bile duct cancer among veterans who served in the Vietnam War. It could take years for symptoms to show up, but when they do, the host is left with tremendous pain and given just a few months to live. The Department of Veterans Affairs this spring commissioned a small pilot study to look into the link between liver flukes and the cancer. More than 20% of the 50 blood samples submitted to the study came back positive, or bordering positive for liver fluke antibodies, said Sung Tae Hung, the tropical medicine specialist who carried out the tests at Seoul National University in South Korea. The parasites can be killed in infected humans through drugs during the early stages. But they can also live in humans without treatment for decades, because no symptoms show up, much like veterans who fought in the jungles of Vietnam during the war. Well, over time, swelling and inflammation of the bile duct can lead to cancer. Jaundice, itchy skin, weight loss and other symptoms appear only when the disease is in its final stages. The VA study, along with a call by Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer of New York for broader research into liver flukes and cancer-stricken veterans, began after the Associated Press raised the issue in a story last year. The reporting found that about 700 veterans with Chalankia carcinoma have been seen by the VA in the past 15 years. Less than half of them submitted claims for service-related benefits, mostly because they were not aware of a possible connection to Vietnam. The VA rejected 80% of the requests, but decisions often appeared to be haphazard or contradictory, depending on what desks they landed on, the AP found. The number of claims submitted reached 60 in 2017, up from 41 last year. Nearly three out of four of those cases were also denied, even though the government posted a warning on its website this year saying veterans who ate raw or undercooked freshwater fish while in Vietnam might be at risk. It stopped short of urging them to get ultrasounds or other tests, saying there was currently no evidence the vets had higher infection rates than the general population. We are taking this seriously, said Kurt Kashor, a spokesman with the Department of Veterans Affairs. But until further research, a recommendation cannot be made either way.